Hello and welcome to the Monday, April 15th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from London, England. I'm deviating from my usual schedule and I'm recording this podcast on Saturday evening instead of Sunday evening. Two particular reasons for this. First of all, my travel schedule, but then we also have some breaking news that I would like to dedicate this podcast to and uh, also would like to keep you in the loop in case you're able to listen to this a little bit before Monday morning. The problem we have here is a new vulnerability in Palo Alto Network's global protect software. Some exploitation of this vulnerability has been reported by Volexity. Volexity has seen exploits as early as end of March, March 26th, and has since then seen some novel backdoors being deployed using this vulnerability. It's a remote code execution vulnerability. It does give the attacker full root access. And given that uh, Global Protect is typically a VPN solution, giving remote users access uh, to internal network resources, these devices that are being compromised here can then be leveraged in order to pivot into an organization's network. Palo Alto Networks released an advisory regarding this vulnerability on Friday, which is why we didn't get around to cover this for the Friday podcast, and stated that a patch should be available no later than Sunday. Again, I'm recording this here Saturday evening in the UK. And at this point, I don't see a patch available yet, but maybe released by the time you are listening to this podcast. Short of applying a patch and outright disabling a global protect, the other option you have according to Palo Alto is to disable telemetry. Telemetry is enabled by default and of course something that usually you want enabled on a VPN gateway like this. But in this case, short of applying a patch, I highly recommend that you do disable telemetry. Assume compromise at this point, given that an exploit has already been observed by Molexity. Now, there was earlier today an exploit that someone released on GitHub. This uh, proof of concept exploit, as they called it, was very simplistic, surprisingly simple, and many considered it a fake. I didn't have a chance uh, to test it, and now it's no longer available. I do kind of uh, considered that this was just a simple fake that someone created. So likely no widely available public exploit at this point in time. But again, it has been exploited, so could have been exploited against you. Volexity observed also a kind of unique backdoor with this particular exploit. This backdoor used the web server's error logs as a covert channel. The way it worked was that an attacker would uh, send a request to the web server to a page that doesn't exist, but part of the URL would be a base64 encoded command. This request uh, that resulted in a 404 error would be logged in the error log and uh, then As a result, a script running on the compromised uh, VPN gateway would parse these error logs and execute any commands that it found it base64 encoded in the error log. Any output would then be appended to a cascading style sheet file and the attacker could retrieve the output by just requesting this cascading style sheet. Again, no kind of authentication is required for any of this. So it's very possible that at this point, uh, other sort of parasitic attackers, knowing how this backdoor may work, are trying to attempt to find compromised uh, Palo Alto devices using uh, this particular trick by sending requests uh, with base64 encoded commands in the URL. So don't be terribly surprised to find uh, something like this in your logs. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're compromised. Double check that style sheet file and see if you do find any odd output 
in it. All of the file names indicators of compromise are again uh, listed in Wallexity's blog. Highly recommend that you read it. This after you read the uh, Palo Alto Networks advisory. There are a lot more details about these actual attacks that Wallexity has seen in uh, the Wallexity blog that you don't find in Palo Alto's advisory. Don't delay mitigating this vulnerability. It is super critical. CVSS score, of course, is 10 on this. CVE number is 2024-3400. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.